Alright, requirements for corrosion control section 255, 245, um, 245, 2 to 49, 1. Part prescribed minimum corrosion protection, metallic and pipelines, external, internal, and inspired atmospheric corrosion. Accurately converted pipelines, and not with the date of the pipeline shelf of the earlier deadline with the compliance, each pipeline qualifies you for the under the part in the corner of the section 255 14 of the part must meet the corrosion control requirements specifically applicable to pipelines installed before August 1st, 1971. All their applicable requirements for one year after the pipeline is ready or ready for service, however, the corrosion control requirements specifically applicable to the pipelines installed after July 31st, 1971. Apply, and if the pipeline substantially meets the requirements before it's readily in service with the segment which is replaced, relocated, or substantially altered. All right, general. Each operator shall establish and receive the requirements in section 255.605B for the Part B for the implement these requirements. The procedures include those of the design, installation, operation, maintenance, of the cathodic protection system must be carried out under the direction of the person qualified, experience, and training in the pipeline corrosion control methods. External corrosion buried in submerged pipelines and sold after July 31st, 1971, as divided in subsection BC and after the dissection, each buried submerged pipeline and sold after July 31st, 1971, protected against external corrosion must have the external protective coating meeting with the requirements of section 255 must have the cathodic protections designed if the protective of the pipeline integrity of the installed the place for the question of the operation one year after the completion of the construction the operator needs not to comply with the subdivision A with the check for the operator demonstrate for the test for the investigation completed with the area with the application of the minimum soil with the resistivity measure for the test for the corrosion and acceleration back with the corrosion environmental does not. However, the six months after the installation may presume to proceed, the sentence of the operator shall conduct the test and include the pipe to soil, pipe to soil potential measurement of the respect of the even with the reference electrode with the electrode even with the closing spray with the non exceeds 20 feet with the soil resistivity measuring measure with potential profile peak lo lo locations adequate to evaluate potential profile along with the entire pipeline. If the test must indicate the corrosion of the condition that exists, the pipeline must cathodic protection according to the paragraph 82 of the section. The operator the, does not need to comply with the subdivision A of the section. The operator can demonstrate with the test investigation experience with the copper pipeline with the corrosive environment that does not exist with a temporary pipeline with the operating rod period of the service that does not exceed five years beyond the installation corrosion during the five year period of service of the pipeline with the detrimental public safety, notwithstanding the provisions of subdivision B and C. If the pipe stand externally conducted with the conduct the cathodic protection in accordance with paragraph A2 of this section, aluminum may not be installed with the buried in submerged pipeline aluminum. If exposed environmental natural pH has an equal excess of eight, lower the valve of the pH of aluminum may be installed in Unless the test experience indicates suitability, particular environmental involved, the section does not apply with electrically isolated metal alloy fittings of plastic pipelines. And for size and fittings to be the operator show the test of the investigation experience with the area with the application of the adequate corrosion. It is provided with the alloying. The fitting is designed to prevent leakage for the cause of the localized corrosion. Pitting electrically isolated metal alloy fittings installed after January 22nd of 2019 do not meet the requirements of the subdivision. After the section must be cathodically protected, it must be maintained according to the operator's integrity management plan. We're going to skip the uh, August f 1971 one, and we're going to go to examination buried white pipeline. Whenever a portion of the existing underground steel that's over the exposed of the operator galvanic type anode shall be detached with the facility within consistent with the good corrosion control practice. Whenever the operator has knowledge any of the portion buried pipeline is exposed, the exposed portion must be examined. Evidence external corrosion of the bare is pipe is bare, the, the coating is deteriorated, the external corrosion is found, the operator shall investigate the circumference control and lines will be on between the exposed portion of visual examination proof of the indirect mouth of the bowl to determine whether the additional corrosion and remedial action must be taken to the extent of the required of the applicable subdivision section 255. 43, 45, 47, and 49. Protective coating. External protective coating when the conduct of the installation with applied with the purpose of external corrosion control must be applied with the properly prepared surface of the station and adhesion of the metal surface that effectively resists the inner film mitigation moisture that be sufficiently ductile resistant strength or stray cracking have sufficient strength to resist the damage due to the handling of the soil stress have properties compatible with any supplemental cathodic protection. Each external protective coating with an electrically insulating type must have the all allow the small moisture low moisture absorption and high electrical resistance. Each external protective coating must be inspected by Prior to lowering the pipe to the ditch, backfilling with the damage, detrimental effect for the erosion control must be prepared. 
An electrical test for I appropriate the type of the coating should be given the pipelines are accurate with the appropriate 125 psi gauge wanted to fact the detects the coating in which may be revealed with the visual inspection. Where such tests are not practical, electrical tests and insulation should be conducted with electrical tests of the pipe the coating with the distribution means means other than these covered in subdivision D with the section should be conducted with a practical each of the for external protective coating must be protected with the damage. Result of the first ditch condition of the damage for the supporting blocks if the coated pipe that is in cell with the boring driving or other similar method precautions must be taken to minimize the damage of the coating during the installation. Our cathodic protection. Each cathodic protection system required by the part must provide level of the cathodic comply with one more of the applicable criteria contained in the appendix 14D with the towel. If none of the criteria is applicable, the cathodic protection system must provide the level of cathodic protection at least equal to provide the compliance one or more of these criteria. An anamorphic metal that must be included with the various submerged pipeline obtaining the level of the different anodic potential of the atmospheric amphomoric am am metals must be electrically isolated with the remainder of the pipeline cathodic protected. Tire buried and submerged pipeline must be cathodically protected with the cathodic potential will that meet the requirements appendix 14D with the title of the anthematic metals. Member of the cathodic protection must be controlled with the SO with the damage of the protective coating of the piping. All right, monitoring. Um, pipe to soil um, or electrical potential t test. The other acceptable electrical test should be conducted every, on every each pipeline 100 feet or longer that is under the cathodic protection at least once each calendar year with the internal and uh, internal walls. The next 15 months to determine whether the cathodic protection meets the requirements of section 255, 463 of this part. Shall you the also, you should also be protected by the pipelines that are shorter than 100 feet. However, the test is the intervals is interactable separately protected with the short section of the main transmission line, not less than the excess of the 100 feet separately protected with the surface lines. Even the pipeline surveyed on the sample the base of the least temperature of the protected structure of the distribution over the entire system must be surveyed each calendar year with a different temperature of the check each subsequent year so for the entire system is tested each 10 year period. Each cathodic protection rectifier on the impressed current power source must be inspected six times each year calendar year with the intervals not exceeding two and a half months with the ensure the Operating each reverse current switch for the each of the dial, each interference with the bottom below whose all failure of the deprived structure protection with must electrically check for proper four and six times each calendar year of the interval of nineteen two and a half months for each of the interference must be corrected at least once each calendar year. Year by intervals 19 and 15 months. Each operator shall take the proper remedial action to correct any deficiencies indicated with the monitoring. After initial evaluation required in section 255, 455B, 3C, and 57B of this part, each operator must not be less than every three years. The intervals not exceed 39 months of the reevaluate the unprotected pipeline cathodically, particularly in accordance with the part of the areas active corrosion is found. The operator must determine the area of the active corrosion electrically survey. However, the distribution lines which were the electrical survey is impractical with the transmission line. Areas where active corrosion may be determined with the other means. Would include the review of the analysis of leak repair with the inspection records of corrosion monitoring records proposed pipe inspection record of the pipeline environment. The operator shall determine the area of the active corrosion electric survey with electrical survey is impractical by even the required leakage survey on section 255.723b with this part of the conjunction with the analysis of the corrosion and leak history records of the other improved means. Electrical, uh, external corrosion control, electrical isolation, each buried submerged pipeline is electrically isolated with an underground metal structure of the unless of the pipeline and other structure of the electrically interlocked, um, connected cathodic protected on single unit. More and more insulating devices must be installed with electrical isolation portion of the pipeline as for the application of corrosion control. So the unprotected copper inserted with the fierce pipe with each pipeline must be either electrically isolated with the metallic casing with the pipe with the underground with the system of insulation not cheap with the impractical must be treated to measure for the minimized corrosion of the pipeline inside of the casing. And Electrical, electrical tests must be made to ensure that electrical insulation is adequate. Insulation device must be not used wherever the possible with the atmosphere they anticipated on light. Some precautions are taken to prevent arcing when pipelines located with a close proximity to the electrical transmission to the taller footings. Ground cable to counterpoise other area of the fault currents with the unusual risk of lightning that may be anticipated with the provide with the protection against the damage due to the fault currents. Lightning protective measures must also be taken with insulating devices. For any pipeline construction after December 1st, 1993, the located pair will with a close proximity the cross for the Underneath the overhead high voltage line of 69 kilovolt or higher, um, electrical transmission facility step of the voltage voltage and due to the magnetic fields overhead electrical lines under steady state with conditions should be limited to the 15 volts less at all points of the person can put normally. Touch the pipeline and pipeline imprudence if it does not apply with the buried pipelines, their location, whether the access is limited to youth offense or buried personnel. They're trained to sail of safe practice with regarding step of the touch voltage the short term emergency lighting conditions. Circuits are defined in New York independent systems with a system operator of the electrical facility shall be 
mean with the determination of the magnitude of the slightest step in touch voltages. Step voltage mean with the root mean square voltage difference between any two points on the ground surface separated with one meter approximately the distance of one step of the difference direction of maximum voltage gradient. T t touch voltage mean with the root mean square voltage difference between any point with the ground where the person may be standing any point with the pipeline or its appurtenances which can be touched simultaneously either by hand. Alright, external corrosion test stations. Each pipeline under cathodic protection required, and this product must have sufficient test stations and other contact points electrical measurements to determine the adequacy of the cathodic protection. External corrosion test leads. Each test lead wire must be taken by the pipeline so it will remain mechanically secure with electrical conduity. Um, each test lead wire must be attached to the pipeline, minimize stress concentration of the pipe. Each buried test wire, wire, wood wire, bare, bare metallic wire area and point of contact of the pipeline must be coated with electrical insulating material compatible with the pipe coating insulating over the wire. Internal control interference currents. Each operator who is the pipeline system subject to the trade currents shall have the effect of the continuing program minimum of the detrimental effects of the such currents. Each impressed current of the type of the cathodic protection system galvanized analoid system must be designed and installed to the minimize the adverse effects of the existing adjacent underground metallic structures. Internal corrosion in general. Corrosive gases may be transported by pipeline and left the corrosive effect of the gas of the pipeline. His investigated steps have been taken for the minimized internal corrosion. Whether that any of the pipe removed the pipeline for any reason, the internal surface of the may be inspected with the evidence of the corrosion. Internal corrosion is found with the following requirement that the adjacent pipe must be investigated to determine the extent of the internal corrosion. Placement must be made to the extent required by the applicable requirements of section 245, 255, 45, 47, and 489 of this part. Step must be taken to minimize internal corrosion. All right, internal control, corrosion control, design control, and transmission line, except the provided of a subdivision in the section, each new transmission line, each replacement line pipe valve fitting in the line component with the transmission line must be featured within incorporated with the design construction to reduce the risk of internal corrosion. Minimum and less impractical than necessary that each of the new transmission line replacement of the line pipe fitting with the other low line component transmission line to be configured with the reduce the risk of the liquid liquids collected in line, effect of the liquid removal the features, but the configuration would allow the liquid to collect, allow you for the device monitoring internal corrosion at location significant potential internal corrosion. Exemptional exemptions to aggravability design construction requirements of subdivision A of the section does not apply to the pipeline install the line pipe valve fitting or other line replacement replaced by 4 May 23, 2007. Change existing transmission line operator change with the configuration transmission line operator must evaluate the impact of the chain of the internal corrosion and link risk downstream portion of the existing onshore transmission line provide removal of liquids monitoring internal corrosion as appropriate. D records operator must maintain records demonstrating compliance with the section provided with the records with the incorporating design feature addressing paragraph A1, A2, two or 3 of the section impractical and unnecessary but the operator may fulfill the requirements for the written procedure supporting as built drawings for other construction records. All right, internal corrosion or control monitoring. Corrosive gas may be being transported to coupons, other suitable means of the SP with the determined effectiveness of steps to be minimized with internal corrosion. Each coupon, other means of the monitoring and internal corrosion must be checked two times each calendar year, but intervals not exceeding seven and a half months. Atmospheric control, corrosion control general. Each operator must clean out and clean and coat each pipeline portion of the pipeline that exposed the atmosphere except for the pipelines under subdivision. C of this section be coating must be suitable for the preventing atmospheric corrosion. Except portions of the pipeline offshore splash zone soil air interface operator needs to be needs not to protect the atmospheric corrosion any pipeline for which the operator has demonstrated the test investigation experience the appropriate for the environment of the pipeline when the corrosive of the atmosphere does not exist.
Atmospheric Corrosion Control General. Each operator must inspect each pipeline portion of the pipeline that is exposed to the atmosphere. Evidence of the atmospheric corrosion is followed. If the pipeline is located, the frequency is onshore is less than once every three calendar years, but intervals should not exceed 39 months. <laughs> Offshore at least once each calendar year, but intervals not exceeding 15 months. During inspection, operators give the particular attention to the pipe, this will interfere, inter interface with under thermal insulation and uh, under disbonded coatings. And pipe support splash zones, deck penetration spans over water. Atmospheric corrosion and found um, during an inspection, operators must provide protection against the corrosion as required in section 255 479 of this part. Our remedy measures general. Each segment of the metallic part replace the pipes and remove the barrier of the submerged pipeline. Because of the external corrosion, must have properly prepared the surface of the pumps provided with the external protective coating that meets the requirements of section 255461. Each segment of the metallic pipe with a replace the pipe with a remove of the barrier and submerged pipeline. Because of the external corrosion, more most cathodic protection in accordance with the pump's part, except for the cast iron ductile iron pipe. Each segment buried in submerged pipe that is required with the repair because the external corrosion must be cathodically protected in accordance with its part. Whenever the annual electrical testing required the 255 465A. If the part revealed the pipeline segment of the pipeline does not meet with the cathodic protection criteria required in 255 463 of this part, a promoter must complete action re establish cathodic protection to a required level prior to the next annual testing of the within clone candle year. When area of the active corrosion is identified, the operator shall provide cathodic protection and level required section 255 463 of this part within one calendar year, replace the section of the pipeline within two calendar years. Remedial measure transmission lines. Each tra segment of the transmission's general corrosion of the remaining wall thickness less than the required of the maximum allowing operating pressure line must be replaced with the operating pressure to reduce the compensator rate. As the compensator rate consumer, consumer the strength of the pipe will be based on actual remaining wall thickness. However, the area of the general corrosion is small. The corrosion pipe may be repaired with a method of reliable engineering testing. The analyst should be called permanently restored to the ability of the pipe. Corrosion pitting so grouped as to affect the overall strength of the pipe that's considered the general corrosion. Each segment of the transmission pipe located localized corrosion pitting of the degree of the which leakage may reflect result must be replaced and repaired by the operating pressure to reduce the common strain of the strength of the pipe based on the actual remaining wall thickness in the pits. Under subdivision A and B of the section strength transmission line based on the actual remaining wall thickness may be determined by this procedure ASME B31G described in section 10.3 of the title procedure of the PRC PR3805 or R strength as described in section 10.3 of the title both procedures of the pipe with the corroded in regions that do not penetrate the pipe wall Subject limitation described in this procedure. Remedial measure for distribution lines other than cast iron ductile iron. Except for the cast iron ductile iron, each segment of the generally corroded distribution pipe with the remaining wall thickness less than other than that required with the maximum allowing operating pressure of the pipeline remaining wall thickness less than 30% of the nominal wall thickness must be replaced. However, the area of the general corrosion is small, but the corroded pipe may must be repaired with a method of reliable engineering testing and analysis should be good. Can permanently restore the serviceability of the pipe corrosion pitting so closely grouped as affect the overall strength of the pipe is considered general corrosion. So the cast iron ductile iron pipe, the E segment of the distribution main and the localized corrosion pitting the degree of the leakage might result must be replaced or repaired. Remedial measure for cast iron ductile iron pipelines. Each segment of cast iron ductile iron pipeline generally graphite is found with a degree of the fracture with any of the leakage which might result must be replaced. Each segment of the cast iron ductile iron pipe localized graphite is found with a degree which any leakage might result but must be replaced or repaired and sealed internal sealing methods adequate to prevent arrest and prevent and arrest any leakage. All right, direct assessment. Each operator use the direct assessment that defined in section 255.903 with the part of onshore transmission made primarily steer and iron or evaluate the effect of the toilet threat with the first column must care of the assessment in accordance with the standard list for the second column. The standards does not apply. Must associate with the direct assessment such as closed intervals, vol surveys, voltage gradient, surveys, examination, exposed pipeline. You all used to partly from direct assessment process. External corrosion would be 255.925. Internal corrosion pipeline transport dry grass 255.927. Stress corrosion cracking 255.9. 29. For lines not subject to pipeline integrity management requirements over this part of the term covered segment with the covered pipeline segment in this section 925, 927, 929, 929. 
929, please refer to pipeline when the direct assessment perform. Section 255, 925 of the power provisions regarding section of the detection, defection of the cope damage applied with the pipeline subject of the pipeline integrity management requirements of this part. All right, corrosion control records. Each operator shall maintain records path of the location cathodic protection pipe of the cathodic protection system on their unrecorded galvanic anodes installed before August 1st, 1971. Neighboring plant structures beyond the cathodic protection system. Each of the following records must be retained and periodically in indicated. Each record of the maps required subdivision section. Each record related to section 255, 465A, 465E, 475B must be retained as long as the pipeline remains in service. In records, each test survey inspection required is with the part sufficient detailed to demonstrate the adequacy of the corrosion measures of that corrosion condition does not exist must be retained in at least five years. Alright, this was requirements for corrosion control.